Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering volume from um, CS50's problem set 4. So in this problem set, what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to scale the volume of the waveform, right? Either multiplying the volume by 2 or uh, scaling down the volume by some value like 0 0.5. Alright, so let's get started. Let me just download the distribution code. Alright, so here we have the distribution code. In the beginning, we have some includes. Then we have the header size of our wave file that we'll be using. And then we have some uh, logic that CS50 has implemented for us. And then we are opening our uh, argument v1, which is going to be the input wave file, which is given by CS50. So we are supposed to um, scale either scale up or scale down the input wave file uh, given to us and then we are supposed to write it into another file which is uh, output.wave or any other output file and then we have a variable called factor which is going to be storing the factor that the user wants us to scale uh, our audio file by so in the wave file they mentioned in the walkthrough as well as in the code here in the beginning of the wave file we have the header right we have a 44 uh, byte header that we have to copy over to our output file so let's do that so first we have to read what the 44 bytes is so f read and just to see how um f read works maybe we can check out the manuals.cs50 and in the standard io f read so the first uh, variable that we have to pass into fread is going to be um, the address into which we are going to be reading the variable. So um, I'll be creating that and I'll just be using an uh, array for that. Okay, So it's going to be uh, uint 8 underscore t buffer uh, header, header buffer. And it's, and it's gonna be of size header size which is basically 44 okay and we are gonna be adding buffer header buffer comma the size so this is gonna be um, each size which is gonna be just a u int 1 I mean u, u int 8 so 8 bits so size of u int 8 underscore t Next, we want how many times we want to do this, which is going to be just header size times 44 times. And then what is going to be our output? Uh, sorry, what is the file that we're going to read it from? So uh, we will be reading it from the input um, file. So both the input and the header buffer is going to be addresses as they mentioned here and sorry the the input is going to be um the pointer so this one if you guys recall for addresses we are supposed to use the n percent operator right but in this scenario we don't have to use the n percent operator because this is an array and uh, for the array right if we just use the array name by itself is basically the address of the very first index into the array so so basically header buffer is the same as uh, the address of header buffer 0 okay so it's basically um, this and this is basically the same thing okay so now moving on so now we have read and stored the 44 bytes into our header buffer and now we want to write it into our output file so f right and f right is gonna be um, the same variables that we have to enter into the function. So it's gonna be header buffer, the address of our data, size of uint8 underscore t, because they want um, to know what is the size of each of the samples that we want to be writing into. And how many times do we want to write? Um, 44 times. And it's going to be writing into the output file. Alright. So now we are done with uh, this portion of the code. Now what we have to do is read the samples. 
of data from uh, the input file and then magnify it um, uh, sorry and then scale it okay so scale it by the factor that the user has entered and then write it back so how do we do this what we need to do is read again okay but this time we will be reading um, data of uh, 16 bits okay and they already mentioned in the walkthrough what's the data type we um, will be able to use so here Brian mentioned that uh, we could possibly use uh, int 16.t as they mentioned here we want to use a 16-bit signed value as sample so let's create a buffer for that int 16 underscore t and we will just call it a buffer um, but for f read what we have to do is give a pointer sorry an address an address of where we want to store it right so we will leave it as this for now and then what we want to do is um, we'll be reading you know what this portion let me just write out the code first and then explain it um, so while f read uh, buffer size of u int um, sorry not u int int 16 underscore t and then uh, read it read one at a time and from the input and then okay so as long as there is a sample for us to read then we want to be doing something how am i using this because f read returns um the number of items that it read okay so when it has reached the end or and when it doesn't have anything else to read it's gonna return a zero um, that's why I noticed okay every time it has reached the end it will return zero or uh, weird value so something that we can actually use this but just to be safer we can also say that oh only when as long as uh, the return is one means that we are reading something we can do um, the scaling so so basically um, the buffer right we can uh, multiply it by the factor right and a uh, shortcut of doing this is just uh, star equals to basically whatever I wrote just now and what I'm writing here is basically the same thing and so after that after we have updated the buffer to multiply with the factor either um, scaling it up or scaling it down we can f write it into our output so buffer size of n16 t one at a time output file okay so this while loop will be running as long as there is something to read in our um, input file and so that should be it actually I'm um, sorry this f read right we have to use an ampersand because they want um, and the address to where we want to write it so we want our data to be written here right um, and hence we have to give the address to uh, this buffer and so um, as David Mellon has mentioned in his video um, the function will be going into this address and dereferencing into uh, where this address is point where um, this pointer is pointing towards and then changing the variable all right and here as well you have to use the n percent operator and that's about it this should be working fine let me make volume all right and uh let me run check 50. all right so it seems to be working fine thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video subscribe and hit the like button and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.